Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Officials warn it's impossible to keep track of the system. This is by Sebastian Ketley, Express UK. Yellowstone Observatory YVO officials have warned they cannot keep an eye on all of the supervolcano hydrothermal fissures, the features there. Keeping track of Yellowstone National Park's hydrothermal features is a key element in monitoring Yellowstone volcano activity. But with more than 10,000 10, thermal features dotting the Yellowstone landscape, scientists cannot possibly stay up to date with everything that's happening in the park. Blaine McCleskey, a research chemist at the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, said it is critical to constantly monitor these features. The geologist said Yellowstone National Park was established due to its extraordinarily high concentration of hydrothermal features, including the geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and steam vents. And groundwater interacts with the tremendous amount of heat from the magma body underneath, underlying Yellowstone to create more than 10,000 hydrothermal features. Monitoring these features is critical for managing the safety of visitors and for identifying changes in activity in the Yellowstone volcano. But tracking so many individual features distributed across 2.2 million acres is not possible. It's impossible, he said. Monitoring Yellowstone volcanoes throughout its hydrothermal features can give scientists a good idea of ground movement, temperatures, and other activity. One way in which geologists do this is by tracking changes in the chemical composition of Yellowstone's rivers. Most of the scorching water spewed from Yellowstone's volcano thermal features typically ends up in the park's rivers. Mr. McCleskey said measuring chemical indicators in river water, such as the levels of chloride, give geologists a chance to measure volcanic activity without inspecting each of the 10,000 features. The scientist said, quote, the most useful chemical indicator is in the chloride composition of the water since the hydrothermal waters have high concentration of chloride. In fact, nearly all of the chloride in Yellowstone's rivers comes from thermal features. Thus, monitoring the chloride flux in Yellowstone's major rivers provides an overview of hydrothermal activity. The chloride flux is a collection of dissolved chloride moving through a certain point in the Yellowstone River over a certain period of time. Because all of Yellowstone's hydrothermal features discharge chloride into the park's rivers, chloride flux levels give an overall idea of Yellowstone's activity in geyser basins, remote areas, and under the lakes. Mr. McCleskey said, the total chloride flux from Yellowstone can be estimated by monitoring just four rivers, the Madison River, Yellowstone River, and Corwin Springs, Snake River, and Falls River, he said. And of these four, the Madison River has the greatest flux. It accounts for about 46% of the total chloride flux out of the park, end quote. Now, Yellowstone Volcano's nasty caldera forming eruption took place last, the last big eruption was 640,000 years ago. It had a minor eruption 70,000 years ago. The great blast created today's 40 mile wide caldera in the northwest part of Wyoming, USA. And the supervolcano is monitored for signs of an eruption on a daily basis by the USGS and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.